What's going on guys? My name is Jay and in this quick video I want to show you how you can use CodePen to improve your skills or maybe just share your code with friends or other developers that maybe you need help. Um, I use CodePen almost every day to share my code with some friends or just to practice and uh, get better as a web developer. This is what you will see when you logged in. So you will go to codepen.io. The link is on the description. Go there and open a free account if you don't have one. I'm going to use a free account for this video so you can you can see everything that you can do and all the options that you have. So right now you can see that all these pens are from different developers. So I can just search and, and, and just click on one if I'm interested. And here's the cool thing. I can see all the code and I can see the result of that code. And you can see this is kind of a dynamic monochrome image filter, which is pretty cool. And I can take a look at the code and see if guys, if you understand the code and you can practice, change it. And uh, if you have questions, you can even comment to the developer and maybe, um, you know, you can say, this is very cool um, how you did this or that. And maybe that developer will let you know or, um, you know, have a cool conversation. So I'm just going to go back here to um, CodePen and you will see that you have a button that says create. You have here uh, the option to create a new pen, which is something like this. You can create a project or a post. So I'm just going to click create a new pen. And you will see here that we have four screens like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and the preview of whatever you're doing. So right now, if I go to HTML, you can just write code right now, just like this. And you will see the preview right there. Automatic. Amazing, right? Now, what I do is CodePen have Emmet built in, which means that I can do something like this. I want a paragraph with a class of test and inside that paragraph, I want um, Lauren, Lauren Ipsen with 50 words. I'm going to hit tab and I have all the code right there. Um, you can do that right there without touching the settings or anything. Um, you can go to HTML. There's a, like a gear icon here and you can add a HTML preprocessor. All right, you can do the same thing with CSS. For example, I like SAS a lot, so I always have SAS, SAS hit there. Same thing with JavaScript, CoffeeScript, LiveScript, TypeScript, Babel. Um, you can change the behavior and screenshot. I think it's very cool. You can change the title of your pen, description, tags, and all that. So another thing that we can do is, for example, if you go to um, the CSS one and you want to add like something like bootstrap, um, you can go here to quick add and there's a huge list and there's bootstrap four or three. So I'm going to add four. You can click save. Same thing with JavaScript. Now this is really a huge list. Actually, CSS was like a normal list, but this is huge, like jQuery, Angular, Backbone, Bootstrap, G uh, JavaScript, yeah. all these cool things that you can use with JavaScript. So, of course, I always use jQuery, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to click save. Or if you have something that is not on the list, you can just copy and paste the um, URL right there and you can use it. So I'm going to save. All right, cool. So let's do something. I'm going to create create a um, class of red and the color of the text is going to be red. So right now this class is not here or there's um, it doesn't exist on the HTML. I'm not using it. But I want to what I'm going to do is when I click the text is going to turn to red. All right, so I just need to add the, the class of red when I click. So I'm going to use jQuery. I'm going to go. I'm going to find the test class, which is the paragraph. 
and on click, so I'm going to do this on click. I'm going to run this function. Okay. Need a comma here after a click. And I'm going to go and go add the class to this. So it's going to be this add class of red. So if you don't know jQuery, maybe this is something that you're going to be like super confused. It's very simple, but if you don't know it, you're going to be confused, but don't worry. I'm just testing CodePen and letting you know that you can do cool things with it. Okay. All right. So if, now if I click test, which is this paragraph is going to add this class and it's going to turn to red. So let's see if it is working. There you go. So I just click it. And if I go to the inspector, let's see. Now you can see we have the paragraph that we have here, but we have ta test and then we have the red um, class that we added with JavaScript when it was clicked. So that's a very, very simple and quick example that um, I wanted to do to show you that CodePen is really cool um, to learn and to maybe share your code with friends. Let's say that I'm trying to do that and I'm having an error. I can just save this um, pen, copy the link and send it to a, another developer and maybe he can solve my problem and, and change the code and send me the link back to me, which is really cool, right? Another thing that we can do, I'm just gonna go back to CodePen. I'm gonna click create and I'm gonna um, click on new project. Now a project, it's like a whole project with folders and everything. So here you have some templates I'm just going to choose like basic HTML5 structure. And here you can see that we have like an index HTML. We have a folder of styles with SCSS inside that folder. And we have a folder script. And inside that folder, we have a JavaScript file. So if you open your HTML here, you will see like a normal uh, HTML. Um, and we are requesting this um, JavaScript file. So this is very cool too, but if you want more than one project, you need to upgrade your account and that's when you need to pay if you want to, but they give you one for free and I think it's really good. And then if you want to keep creating more projects, then you need to pay. Okay. Um, something that I want to mention that I forgot, let's go to create a new pen again. If you don't like this style, um, you can change the view and you have um, some options like you can change this and this. All right. I like this one because you have like more space. But if you have a small monitor, you can just change it like this. And I think it's better for you. But I just want to show you that you have um, those options. OK. And uh, I think that's kind of what I use almost every day. It's like pen and projects. And I think it's very helpful. And if you don't, um, if you don't, if you don't have experience with CodePen or you don't know what it is, go there, try it because it's going to help you to learn and grow as a web developer. And that's it guys. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.